Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video and it is Thursday the 12th of April. So in our members area for Wave5Trade.com, we get scan results for the potential fifth wave moves as an Elliott wave sequence, which is the highest probability move within a trend. We get the members get long and short trades every day on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. They simply click on the image there to download the spreadsheet and let's have a look at the spreadsheet now for today. So I've gone for longs again today uh, on the daily time frame. This is the, um, the scanner results for today for potential fifth wave trades on the daily time frame. So let's have a look at a chart. So I've chosen the signal for PGNX on the daily time frame. So first of all, let me talk about the filters for the scanners. Uh, part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite, and this is the trade station version, but we also uh, produce it for NinjaTrader, Thinkorswim, and the multi-charts platforms. We have the 535 oscillator. So part of the, uh, the scanner filtration is that we get this 535 pulling back between our desired 19 140% and next we have the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone against our false breakout dots here on the stochastic again part of the version 3 elite wave indicator suite and then we've had the wave 4 pullback into our high probability zones here for those members that have got the elite wave indicator suite very very simple here we've got the low um, in, in mid mid February here this is where to isolate the the wave count really uh, and we've got the big impulse leg we've got the one two the big impulse leg way three we've had the gap down and then consolidation at this level so that's the fourth wave so let's have a quick look at a potential entry for this now let me just zoom in a little bit Okay, so the wave four has really found great support on this daily time frame. Despite everything that's happening in the markets, this seems to be a really good support level. Support levels in and around the amber or the red zone. The red zone is a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones here in blue. And the amber zone is an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high. So we've got, I've gone for a conservative entry, quite a cheap stock this. We have the 6-4 moving average high here, which is part, of, which is the green moving average, which is part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite, and we want to go long above that. But we also want to make sure we're above all of this uh, price action, these highs here. So a $7.66 entry long for PGNX is sensible, conservative, and then we've got a stop loss down here, just below the wave four here, around about 6.80, something like that. Again, we're looking for that low on the wave four, and we want to be with a cheap stock like this, only one or two cents below that low there for the stop loss. As we can see, our automated target zone here starts around about nine dollars, so we've got a risk to reward of one to two into that target zone. So a great risk to reward, even with a conservative entry. With a conservative entry, we're actually making sure that we're moving away from this support zone, and the momentum will start to build. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.